Hello and welcome to the first of four videos on Derby Phantom's run through the British Open men's competition. Uh, I've shamelessly stolen these videos from the Derby Phantom's YouTube, so please do go and watch them if you want to watch the full games. They've got all of them on there from the men's, women's, first and seconds, so go and watch them there. For now, we are watching Derby Phantoms versus London Storm in the groups. This is the final group game of this group of the day. Uh, and I believe both teams have won everything, so it's to decide who will top the group and have that better seeding going into the quarterfinal. So, where are we at? We are 4-4 with 3-10 left. Phantoms down 6-3. There will be at least one more set, but if they go 6-4 down, they can really only get the drawback. A pre-throw there from Indombe and a two-ball attack to clean him up gets the first hit back for Phantoms. They're two players down now. They're going to come forward with three again as those balls rebound back. And the uh, two-ball throw onto the left-hand side gets the hit uh, over the block onto the back. And now they're just one player down. Storm with the three balls now. Foul from the right-hand side. Blocked by Reed. Reed chases Johnny Day back up court. Gets the hit through the block and then sprints back. Look at the effort put in here for this uh, backtrack. Absolute speed. The effort pays off, get himself back safely, and that makes it 3-3. Phantoms have brought this set back. And with another two-ball attack onto Andreasen on the right-hand side, they get another hit. Trades on the right-hand side, gets no hits for either side. Hittings chases down Winters, but can't get the hit, which means Storm a player down, desperate to get that final hit in the dying seconds. But Phantoms are just going to dodge, stay alive, and take this set to make it 6 Four. Storm now need to win this final 1 minute 30 set in order to win the game. 1 minute 12 left. Let's have a look at this again. That is a false start. Listen to the whistle. I think actually two false starts there on the Derby Phantom side. But if we look on the Storm side as well, on the right hand side, that kind of movement is actually also a false start. It's less of an advantage gaining movement, but it is technically a false start. So false starts on both sides. Neither called, we carry on. Tapping tries to take out Ndumbi on the far side, off that quick start, but cannot get the hit. And Dumby survives. And three balls on the Phantom side, getting that rebound off the back wall quite often. Uh, can just kind of rinse and repeat, try and get that single ball hit. If they can't find it, but they keep getting the ball back, then that's fine because they only need to draw this set to win the game. So they're going to come up now again, another single ball attempt, but this time into the hands of the waiting Johnny Day. Classic winger, but finding his element in the middle with some fantastic catching ability, uh, which gives Storm the advantage. They're going to come up with three balls now, and Paddock on the back track catches Gittings, gets under the block, and the hit onto the leg evens things up. Phantoms again in the driving seat with three balls and level in the position that they need to be. They're going to send a safe ball towards Ndumbi. He's going to watch that go by. Take the three balls. 20 seconds left. Storm need to make a play here. They might get one or two more attacks, but we might see them send uh, two balls here in this next attack, or even all three balls, just to make sure that they get that hit. Phantoms just need to survive. Level is fine for them, but any hits into the middle means they need to get a hit back straight away. Storm sent two into the middle, get the hit against Ellis. Reed and Paddock chasing up court, getting done as he dodges down. Andreasen chasing back up court to get that final hit. Hit Zar on the whistle. Storm celebrate, but the result is going to come down to whether or not that hit was before the whistle. Let's have another look. Storm sent two balls into the middle here and get Ellis just on the knee. It actually traps between the knee and the floor, you know, with the frames that we have here. That's what it looks like. A trap is an out, so a hit there. Paddock and Reed chasing back up court to try and get that hit back. Ndombe goes low and Reed follows him, gets the hit on the side. Day looking for a ball to pick up. Zars up court to try and cover to stop that free counter, but great block from Andreasen and gets the hit into the chest of Zar, which makes it 4 3 to Storm and they would win the set. Let's have another look now at the replay. Here for that whistle. The first whistle is actually the far court, and it's the second deeper whistle. There is this court. The hit is very much before. Storm take the set. 6-6 six, six in the groups. What a game. And we're just getting started. Phantoms go through first in the groups based on set difference, uh, and Storm in second. Both do qualify. And I will see you in the next one to see where this goes. Four-part series, three more videos to come. I will catch you in the next one.